What's up everybody, this is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media and today I wanna to talk to you about why you creating content for your practice is a lot like your New Year's resolutions. So uh, today is January 6th, it's uh, my first day back into the swing of things. Uh, took a break between Christmas and uh, yesterday and it's just been, you know, like health-wise and uh, Productivity-wise, have not been at the top of my game. So today, I am back on it, uh, starting to try to set some really good habits for 2020. This is what my lunch looks like today. I'm over like my uh, chicken is over there burning. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a terrible cook, but I had to get going. I had to get started with my new healthy habits for 2020. I'm 42 this year. I've got a goal to lose 42 pounds before my next birthday, so this is the kind of stuff that I have to do. When it comes to marketing your practice, it's the exact same way. This is the perfect time of year to start to produce content, to start to uh, make online marketing a priority, um, even no matter what uh, the past has looked like. You know, our apartment right now looks like a disaster. We've got open suitcases and empty booze bottles all over the place, and it's like, you know, Christmas, the, the holidays are an easy time to just get out of your rhythm, uh, not do things the right way, but you can always start fresh. You can just make the decision to start doing things the right way. And I totally recommend you doing that here in the new year with your marketing, um, whether it's online or offline, just make a commitment that you're gonna be committed to it and that you're gonna stay focused on it and that you've got a 12 month plan. You know, I've got a list of habits that I wanna do for my health and a list of habits I wanna do every day for my business. Um, I listen to a lot of good um, habit formation books over the holidays. And it's really all about becoming the kind of person that eats healthy, becoming the kind of person that works out every day, becoming the kind of person that markets their practice and creates content online. So in January, if you are looking to grow your practice, the number one way that you can do that is marketing your practice. So whether that's internally, uh, external events, online marketing, just be committed to spreading the story of what is it that makes your chiropractic office special, what makes you different than everybody else, and what is gonna allow people to get healthier uh, and be safer within your four walls than outside of them. So if you need any help with that, please reach out. Uh, we'd love to be able to do that. I know that 2020 is gonna be a big year for everybody, and I know January is when you're, you're making those commitments to, to grow the practice, and that's exactly what we do uh, to help our clients grow. So uh, please reach out. Uh, hope you found some value in this, and uh, hopefully you guys are living a healthy life uh, personally as well as uh, business. So we'll see.